Syngenta is a world-leading agricultural biotechnology company standing at number one in crop protection and number three in seed sales. They take research very seriously, having invested $1.3 billion in 2017 alone in research and development. Their next investment would be in a small group of students trained to be industrial engineers. The problem our group faced lied within the trialing stages of soybean varieties. At the start of the project, Syngenta had no quantifiable metrics to determine whether or not the genetic varieties of soybeans that continued to the subsequent stage was the best possible decision. These type 1 errors of poor performing varieties could progress through the stages and eventually fail and be discarded. Syngenta's goal was to reduce type 1 errors earlier in the process in order to save resources. Using the dataset provided by Syngenta, the group filtered the level of success for locations and used machine learning to determine trends and significant features for each classification all with the overall goal of decreasing these type 1 errors by 10%. Before performing any analysis on a data set received, it is important to first validate the data that is being worked with. To do this, the group performed basic functions including minimum, maximum, and standard deviation to find any values that really stuck out from the rest. The next step was to see if the data provided information the way it was intended, which is to track variety's performance throughout the years and stages. After trying various methods, the group landed on a final method that would be the most beneficial towards the goals of the project. This method looked at locations on a yearly basis of varieties that were in stages 3 or 4. Varieties in stage 5 were not observed because of issues found within the data provided by Syngenta. A percent progress calculation was computed based on how many varieties from stages 3 or 4 in a location in a given year would eventually make it to stage 6. This gave us a representation of how locations could influence the success of a variety. After tracking these percentages, a class value was assigned to a location depending on if it was in the upper 75% quantile, lower 25% quantile, or in between, which we called neutral. Using years 2010 through 2014, locations were given a class variable based on how they performed over the years. Once these class variables were assigned to a location, machine learning was utilized to identify attributes that could make a location most successful. Many different models were created ranging from random forest, regression analysis, and support vector machines. This map not only shows each of the locations in our target domain, but it also categorizes the locations into one of the